Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lana and I am very pleased to have you here with me today again. So today in this video, we are gonna be talking about my tips to help you prepare for your online classes this semester. The spring is upon us and COVID has changed our lives tremendously to where we all have to adapt to how we do school now, which for the most part is gonna be online. So I am very excited to go back this spring and start my classes. So hopefully I can share with you a few of my tips that I have learned over the years that can help you too. Okay, so I am gonna be looking at my phone just cause I wrote my notes down in my phone so I can make sure I hit all of the points so that way you guys are fully prepared for your online classes. Okay, let's get into it. So my first tip is going to be to have a good workspace. This is extremely crucial for you to do well in your classes. You need to enjoy where you're actually working. So my workspaces are going to be my dining room table and my bed. So I mainly use the dining room table for doing actual work like homework and projects so that way I can focus, but like the lectures, I'm usually just sitting in my bed because they're three hour classes. So that way I'm comfortable, can use a pillow to lay back and just relax and you're comfortable for the whole three hour lecture. Also, if your workspace has kids, like if you're a mom, you need to be prepared to be able to work in that environment. So if your kids are home from school with you then hopefully they can be playing in their room or a playroom or they're old enough to know not to disturb you while you're working or if your kids are in school like my son is um, it allows me to have that quiet time i just have to make sure that i use that time wisely to do my schoolwork while he's in school Okay, so my next tip is going to be to make sure that you have some sort of device to do your schoolwork on. So whether that is your laptop, your phone, um, most schools are even giving out laptops uh, for you to use for your classes. I know my school is, so you can do a tablet, like iPad or whatever other tablets are out there. <laughs> Um, and did I hit all those points? Your desktop, you use a monitor to do your schoolwork on and also make sure that you have a charger. You're gonna need a charger because these are long lectures. You need one to charge your phone, you need it to charge your laptop. That way your computer doesn't die in the middle of your lecture. All right, and my next tip for you is going to be to have a good set of headphones. So I would suggest getting some noise canceling headphones. I personally just use some Bose headphones. They're not noise canceling because if my son is home with me, I do like to hear what he's up to because he can be a little mischievous sometimes. But if you don't have kids, <laughs> then definitely some noise canceling headphones would be wonderful. I think um, all major brands make them now, Sony, Bose, Apple, you can even probably find um, off brand ones at any of your local stores or on Amazon so for a really good price too. And my next tip is going to be to have good internet connection. This is key for your online classes and mine is not so great but the good thing is a lot of schools if if you're going to a school where there is a physical location that you can attend that's just shut down right now they are offering like an expanded range for their Wi-Fi so that means that you can go and park in their parking lot and you should be able to access the Wi-Fi at full service so that way you can do the lectures there's no excuses you have your internet you have your charger you have your laptop or your phone you can get the work done and still work towards having a better future 
<laughs> All right, my next tip for you is going to be look at your syllabus. Your syllabus is going to be what your teachers, professors, uh, they prepare it for you. It's a whole document that says what the class is, what you're gonna expect, what you need. Um, it's gonna talk about how to get the best grades and what you need to pass the class. It's, it's, it has lots of detailed information, how to contact the professor, um, usually about like tutoring and uh, rules for the school. A lot of this will be online and so you can print it out and have physical copy or you can just go onto your website for school and look at it. I do suggest looking at it beforehand because you are most likely going to go over it the first day of class and it's just going to help you be prepared for that class. Oh, uh, my next tip. All right, so my next tip is going to be to have some items on hand just in case you may or may not need them. Most people nowadays just use their computer and phones for everything. But if you do need some physical items, I would suggest having like um, a notebook or um, a calculator if you're taking some math classes or like me, I'm taking physics. So I know that I'm going to need to do math in I have to do it in my notebook. So you're gonna need your pens, pencils, highlighters, note cards, um, a binder if you're wanting to print out work and put your work in it so you're organized and you can see it right there in front of you. Or just be organized on your on your computer and your tablet. A lot of people can make their folders and they're just fine doing everything virtually like that. I personally need to kind of have my hands on it and see it physically. Um, yeah, so also you can do, you can have a course book, you have your textbook for the class and that can be online as well or they usually give you an option to have, like to print it out, so which I don't enjoy doing that. I would rather just buy the physical copy if I needed it. But nowadays, if I just use the online copy, I will just take out the important notes out of it and I'll write it down on paper or type it up in my computer, print that out. So that way I don't need the whole book. I'm just taking out the key information that I need to pass my exams. All right, so we have three things left, my friends. My last three things that you're going to need is one, have a drink on hand. Okay, when you're sitting there for these three hour lectures and sometimes having a lab attached to the class, which can be an hour and a half lab, an hour lab, um, I would make sure you have your water with you or coffee or if you're like me, you're gonna have a monster on hand at all times because caffeine is life. <laughs> that is what we do in college, just live on caffeine. Um, and next, make sure that you get enough sleep. If you have morning classes, you will appreciate it if you have slept and you can actually retain the information that they are throwing at you because your brain is rested and now you can comprehend everything and digest the information. It's easier for you to study and you're gonna do well on the exam. Hey, this is your reminder. Please stop what you're doing and drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already because there's gonna be some more helpful tips, okay? One more, we have one more tip, one more final tip. My last tip for you is going to be have a positive attitude. <laughs> These classes are no joke, college is no joke. It is hard, it's rigorous, it's time consuming. You know, your whole world is revolving around somebody else's work that you have to do. So just make sure that you are always focused on the end goal smile and have a just have a positive attitude it's gonna make everything just go a lot smoother you know that you have to take tests you know that you have to do quizzes that's that's cool that's why you signed up so just smile and just do your best and then 
it's all gonna fall into place. You're probably gonna do better on your exams because you were so positive in the first place. If you are feeling discouraged, just make sure that you take time for yourself. It's okay to take breaks during the class. Your teacher usually gives you time to take breaks if you have like a specific time that you have to be in the class. They're gonna allot you some time to take a break. Go and hug on your dog, your cat, your grandma. Uh, if you have kids at home, make sure you go and give them tickles and laughs. You know, just get your positive energy flowing again. And so that way when you come back, you're, you're good to go, your mindset, you're happy, and you're filled with warm fuzzies. So that way you can just sit there and get that lecture over with. All right, guys, I hope that these tips helped you out. Be sure to come back to my channel. I will be sharing some more tips in the future. Once I get deeper into school, I can help you out better with some of these challenges that you will face i have been doing school since 2010 like college since 2010 so i have been around the block i i know it's up i know how to help you and i'm still at it thank you for watching this video i hope that i shared some helpful tips that you're going to be able to use i know you're going to be able to use them so use them utilize them they will help you succeed in these online classes this semester and all upcoming semesters. So please, please drop a like, okay? Comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm excited to have you here and excited for y'all to be here for the future and for y'all's future. If you have any questions, please drop them in the boxes below. I will be sure to answer as many or all that I can and help you all in whichever ways that I can possible. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will catch y'all in the next one.